The air tap system should always be performed with at least two caregivers. Lower the bed rail where the glide sheet is being placed. Place the folded glide sheet with microclimate body pad alongside the patient with the printed arrow pointing toward the head of the bed. Unfold the glide sheet and align the upper edge with the patient's shoulder. Using your facility's protocol for placing items beneath the patient, place the glide sheet beneath the patient. Make sure the patient is centered on the glide sheet. Smooth out any wrinkles in the glide sheet and raise the bed rails. To inflate the glide sheet for patient positioning, locate the bilateral valve closest to the booster pump. Pull up on the Velcro tab. Separate the fabric opening of the valve. Grasp the hose and glide sheet and pull the Velcro tab to cinch it around the hose. Before repositioning the patient, check to make sure lines and tubing are free to move with the patient. Ensure that the patient's head and feet are supported. In the black handles, line up the patient's hips with the hinge point of the bed. Lower the bed rail on the side of the bed where the wedges are being inserted. Insert the anchor wedge tail first with the black fabric facing up. The caregiver on the other side of the bed will pull the anchor wedge through until the tail is taut. Place the upper wedge at least one hand width away from the anchor wedge. Turn the booster pump off. If needed, a micro turn can be performed while the glide sheet is deflating to ensure the patient is at the appropriate angle. After deflation, check to make sure the patient's sacrum is offloaded. Raise the bed rails. Before boosting the patient, remove the wedges. Turn on the booster pump. Once the glide sheet is fully inflated, use the black handles to move the patient to the desired position. Turn the booster pump off. To perform a lateral transfer, lock the brakes and lower the rail on the side of the bed. Lower the rail on the side of the receiving surface and move it as close as possible to the sending surface. Lock the brakes and set the receiving surface about an inch below the height of the sending surface. With a caregiver on each side of the support surfaces, turn the booster pump on. When the glide sheet is fully inflated, the caregiver closest to the patient gently glides the patient to the receiving surface. The receiving caregiver should grasp the handles and glide the patient into position. Turn the booster pump off. When the glide sheet is fully deflated, remove the hose. Separate the support surfaces and raise the bed rail. The gray extension handles on the glide sheet can aid with patient positioning in conjunction with your facility's safe patient handling protocol. If the microclimate body pad becomes soiled, follow your facility's policy for placing items beneath the patient to remove the soiled body pad and replace it with a new one.